Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots 2 channel. And Chris Salcedo, Salcedo had uh, Tim Burchett on his show. He's one of our great representatives uh, for the Republican Party. And um, he said something that I happen to have said a few times in the past in videos. And it's just a little bit of confirmation as to what is going on in Congress, why a lot of these people that you would think would vote normally on things actually dig into investigating people like Epstein. Uh, just normal moral things that you would think these people would stand up for, stand behind, and vote for. Uh, they just seem to pee down their leg or go the opposite direction. And I believe a lot of it is due to bribery, uh, money laundering, uh, being compromised in one way or another, maybe even being blackmailed by the three-letter agencies. And I've discussed that a little bit in the past. And he digs into that a little bit here. But if you will stick around to the end of the video, I will tell you what I do know about the Colorado Supreme Court ruling on Trump. <clears throat> and I'll explain to you why I think it was absolutely necessary for this to happen to get to the Supreme Court because it was inevitable anyway. Uh, the Supreme Court ruling uh, in the state of Colorado against Trump basically kicking him off the ballot if you have not heard. Uh, it will be appealed to a higher court. And uh, the higher court being the federal Supreme Court. And the federal Supreme Court has the choice to take it up or not. Now, we don't know if they will or they won't. But I do know that 25 states have already uh, had people from 25 different states, including state representatives like the Secretary of State, try to keep Trump off the ballot. And uh, so far, there's been, I think, five that realized it wasn't going to work, declared it unconstitutional, uh, just said, no, nah, uh, we ain't trying that. Uh, Arizona was one of them. Uh, there's a few other states up north that I can think of, but at any rate, <clears throat> the point is, is a lot of these people that we probably that would probably make the right decisions, like going after people like Jeffrey Epstein, uh, are forced to protect, I guess, people that are involved in things like being on the Epstein uh, Lolita Express. Uh, so that's why I thought it was important to bring this video to you folks, uh, just so you can get the mindset as to why uh, uh, Washington is so corrupt. It's not only these people are criminals and thieves and corrupt, but a lot of them are perverts and have been caught with their hand in the cookie jar uh, with the honeypot situation. And people like Jeffrey Epstein didn't fill didn't just facilitate the trafficking of the of the people, but he also recorded it, and that made him a government asset. And that's what will come out in the end behind this Jeffrey Epstein stuff, that the uh, FBI and CIA protect him still today, even in his death, because they got to protect herself, because he was, I'm sure, one of them in so many ways, because they used him to spy on, and they use his island, island uh, for their own surveillance on people that come to the island. So uh, they were all working together, folks. That's why um, he had to go mysteriously uh, Epstein himself uh, in jail. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, this is not crazy talk. This is what I know is to be the truth. And I'm just glad somebody's calling it out besides me. Travity allegedly connected to convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Now, you're also working to uncover his infamous client log from his private jet, a motion the Democrat Senator Dick Durbin is, is trying to block. Congressman, why do you think so many Democrats are committed to protecting the list of a dead pedophile? What possible national security implications could that have? What you see in so many times, my dear friend, Marsha Blackburn, I thought she was snubbed. That's why I got involved with it. She can handle her own. But when the Democrat controlled Senate did that, I, I went to Chairman Comer in the Republican controlled House. And I said, we need to we need to fix this. This is wrong. And too many of my colleagues, I'm afraid, are compromised uh, in this area for whatever reason. Somebody just whispered in their ear, said, hey, you don't want something to come out on something else. You better keep your mouth shut on this. And that's exactly what they've done. And, um, and it continues to go, whether it's the honey pot that the Russians used to use or something worse. I don't know. But but it's clearly you see that up and down the line. You see good conservatives vote for liberal policies. And frankly, you see some liberals occasionally that will vote for something else. So obviously the um, 
the Congress has been compromised, and this continues on through the White House, through the Justice Department. It's a uh, the trash can is very deep. It's not a it's not it, mm-hmm. hey, it not a swamp. It's an open sewer. Wow. Uh, tell me what you think about that, folks. Uh, I agree with him a hundred percent. See, this is what these politicians fail to recognize uh, when they get in Congress and they get to dealing with lobbyists, get to going to these fundraiser parties, uh, get to hobnobbing with people that have a hundred times the amount of money they do, and people that want their vote, want them to change regulations, want them to work with other people on bills to get what these special interests want, special interest groups, otherwise known as lobbyists, crooks, uh, big business. Um, so what happens is these people get in a situation where they're at these parties, where they're doing things, whether it be drugs, whether it be children, uh, whether it just be um, sex partners of either or sex. Uh, most likely, because these people are Congress, these people are representatives, uh, if they're of any um, consequence to our to our government, meaning all 200 and something Republicans, 200 and something Democrats uh, in the House and 50-50 in the Senate, so we're talking 500 and a little over 500 people that are guaranteed to be under surveillance. If not all the time, at least somewhat, and for sure when they're at certain places together. I'm sure there's a lot of government buildings uh, where they get together, maybe even bars, and do their backroom deals and talk. And I guarantee you, just, just my own belief, but I guarantee you they're being spied on. A lot of people are, and a lot of people's dirt has been exposed, not because they were being sloppy necessarily, but because they didn't realize that being a congressman doesn't uh, give you immunity from being spied on by by your own government. And as a consequence of that, the CIA and the FBI basically have uh, the ability to come turn the screw and say, hey, look, just like he said, if you don't do this, or if you want to, you got to dig into Epstein's this out of the other because it compromises my friend or whatever, we were somehow involved, we don't want to tell that story. You got a choice is what they come to you with and the choice is always keep your mouth shut or it's going to be bad for you and uh it's basically mob tactics we all know this at this point but i think it does come down to that and when they've got something incriminating on somebody it makes it a hundred times easier when they've got video footage they got audio they've got some kind of surveillance because they've been spying on these people, naturally, uh, probably since the minute they stepped through the door. I'm sure people like Matt Gates is being spied on just for national security reasons by the Biden administration. Uh, just things like that, I'm sure, that I think about, they've already thought about and are working on if they aren't, uh, if they don't already have these things in, in place 100%. I'm sure these people, some of them realize they are being bugged. I'm sure a lot of them don't have a clue. But truth be known, I don't doubt that that is the, the whole skinny, the real the real deal. Why some people don't seem to act right. You think they're a moral character. And then they vote for the money. Or they vote to protect somebody. Their good old buddy Biden. Anybody that's protecting Biden today is obviously uh, in on something very crooked. Uh, that's just my opinion, but... We'll go ahead and get into uh, what I want to talk to you about. Now, Governor Abbott did sign a law today that says it is illegal to cross our border. It is a misdemeanor. He uh, just passed through the House and the Senate here in Texas weeks weeks ago, and Abbott actually signed it official today. And as a result, um, immediately the Anti-Defamation League and the Biden administration are trying to sue uh, Abbott to try to stop him, to try to throw it in the courts, to try to stop him from uh, being able to write tickets and, uh, I guess, stop people from coming across the border. 
Um, Abbott's trying to do the best he can with it. Uh, he's sure taken a long time to get anything done. I don't know how that fight actually works, so I don't want to really get too too far into the weeds of what kind of job he's doing, but I just, we need more, no matter what. But let's go ahead and get into this uh, Trump issue. I'm sure everybody's heard a little bit about this. If you haven't, it's breaking news. Uh, Trump is ticked off. He uh, throwing a fit, which I don't blame him, about the Colorado Supreme Court. They have disqualified him from the 2024 ballot. And uh, he's vowed to immediately uh, send it to the Supreme uh, send it to the Supreme Court uh, as an appeal to this ruling. And this absolutely had to happen, folks. Uh, like I said, there was been twenty something states already considered it, talked about it, uh, threw it on the table, have have these ball uh, this uh, ball into motion. Already, some of them have already decided they're not going to. So I'm sh I knew at one point there would be a state, if not several states, that decide, yep, Trump can't be on the ballot because he is a, a insurrectionist, a seditionist, whatever they want to call him. Even though there's no actual crime of that happening, there is no conviction of Trump actually having any criminal convictions of anything at this point. But because they want to call him an insurrectionist. That's a good enough reason for the Colorado uh, George Soros funded Supreme Court uh, to make their ruling. <clears throat> but I believe it will go to the Supreme Court and they will make a ruling on it. I believe they will take the case up. And I also believe that it will rule in Trump's favor. And if it does, it squashes this issue in all 50 states. Uh, that's the best possible scenario. That's why this thing had to go through this way because you did not want them pulling this at the last minute before the election. So it would be tied up in court. So technically, legally, Trump uh, couldn't stop them from pre preventing him from being on the ballot. This actually has to be resolved before we get down the road uh, to the primaries, which is coming up mighty quick, folks. Um, it's now or never, uh, and um, I'm just, I'm not not surprised, I am disappointed, but uh, I actually think it was necessary. It is a crazy situation, folks, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, Abbott is going around, like I said, Abbott is going round and round with, uh, with the federal government behind um, trying to keep Eagle Pass from being the uh, ep epicenter of, of the migrant popul population coming into this uh, country. They said Eagle Pass today has got thousands and thousands of people on the way and, I don't know, tens of thousands waiting in lines. I seen drone footage earlier and it's just it's depressing. That's all I'd say. Uh, it's depressing. It was literally a wall, a wall of people. That's all I got to re really uh, talk about tonight, folks. Uh, I'm going to get on to the rest of my day. I hope everybody enjoyed their day. I uh, did the best I could with what little time I had to work with. I do work long days uh, for the next couple of weeks. So I'm trying to keep these videos a little short if I can. But you know me, I like to ramble on. But truth be known, uh, I do appreciate everybody that comes and, uh, and drops in and watches the channel. And hopefully gets a little bit of insight into uh, what the hell's going on with this crazy place we call America right now. Over and out, folks. Have a good one.